Another note, I have known so many people that have had great stories to tell about their threesomes. Like an uh, associate of mine, he lives with his threesome partners, um, his girlfriend and his best friend. They stay together and they have a beautiful relationship going on. I know another person that another male associate that has the same thing. And he has um, the two women staying with him. And everybody gets along. The other person I know, they uh, still have threesomes. Or, you know, every now and then on special occasions or what case may be. They still have their threesomes. On the other note, I've known people, oh my God, the outcome was like, wow. And there's a lot of fighting and it's chaos and it's craziness. I was like, oh my God, that's what didn't never make me want to have one. I mean, you don't know what the outcome may be. Somebody that you in love with and that's why you're doing what you're doing and he leave to go be with that person or you leave hell. And he might be better than the other. Might be better than the man you got. I don't know what I'll do. You know what I'm saying? That would be crazy. Crazy mad. But you know, mama, here for your, your wallet, your pocketbook, and your purses, your heart, and your mind. You know I have to put that in there because I always forget to say it. Um, my next lady... Well, it was a man. He um, sent me one, and he asked me to talk about oral. And he was like, his girlfriend makes such a big deal out of it. She won't do it. And he constantly asking her and pushing her and asking her. I'm like, how are you asking her? It's the way you do everything. You can't just, here, put your hand on the head like, dang it. <laughs> you can't do that. Or every time she's sitting around with your ass, you got your your penis out, and you're trying to smack it in the face with it. Here, 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 here. You can't do that either. That's not where it's at. I mean... That's a part of anything. You 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 gotta talk to her. It's the way you talk to her. It's the way you tell her. It's the way you ask her and deduce it to her. And what if she's not that type of woman? You know, what if she's not that way? What if she don't like that? Are you going to not be with her anymore because she don't want to? Suck your pee pee. Are you going to do that? That would be bogus, but everybody wants to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Um, what if the shoe was the only other foot? And she always had a leg up. And she had a leg up and she was standing there. And she was ready for you to be like, okay, um, are you ready? You know what I'm saying? What you, what you doing? Or... <laughs> She wants you to be that way. I mean, it's all in the way you do things or you ask somebody. It's the same way with anybody. You just can't pop up and be like, here, suck it. Or, here, I want you to do this right now. If not, you don't do it right now, it ain't going to be no more of us. No, that's not the way you do it. People, when you want something um, sexually from somebody, for one, you got to be ready to hear the no word. You got to you gotta be prepared for that. Who not ready for the no word, the N-O word? Be ready for it. <laughs> then you got to be ready for... That dumb look. Okay. 
and then they don't do it the way you like it or they don't do it at all. And you sitting there like you didn't promise me last week that you was going to do it and you didn't even do it. When you going to do it? When you going to do it? And you constantly standing over hitting her in the head like when you going to do it? When you going to do it? <laughs> you can't be like that. It don't work like that, you know? You have to prepare it. Ask her right. Get all romantic and romantic and sexy and smell good and and just manly and turn out the lights and cut on the music. But you got to get her in that mood. And then you talk to her and see what happens. Babe, we've been together for a long time and this should happen, you know, or Bay, I find that, you know, I want to experience this with you. Let's take it to another level. You know, she be looking at you like, you going to marry me? <laughs> you be like, damn, not that level. But, you know, you be like, no, not that level and not the sexual level. You want a threesome? No, not that. I want oral pleasure. And you be like, either she going to say yes or no, or she going to say she ain't never did it before. And you're going to have to work with her. Then you that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to work with her, be patient with her, show her, show her how you like it. And, and it's the same thing go for a woman. You're going to have to be patient with him. If you say he ain't never did it before, you're going to have to be patient with him. And you're going to have to show him the ropes. You're going to have to show him how you like it. Show him how. Show him, you know, circle of motion. <laughs> you got to be prepared. You have got to be prepared. I tell you in this every, every other video, life comes with surprises. You have got to be prepared. And... God forbid if she got these big old lips and you smile as hell. It's like a whale suck, suck, swallowing a Tic Tac. I heard that on TV a long time ago, long, 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 long time ago. But, you know, it's like you have to, you have to be prepared. You have to be ready. It, it's, a, it's a moment thing unless you just got... One that just love doing those things. But if you're with somebody and you've been with them for a while and she ain't never done it or he ain't never done it, you have to be patient with them. You have to prepare them for the adventure of a lifetime. You have to show them everything or look it up. Look at a movie with them, shit. Look it up in a book. I had a book, I, I, you know, that I had to give my kids, you know, let them read it, you know. And this is this was like a couple of years ago. <laughs> it's, just, it's new things out here in the world. I'm not saying everybody do that. And you know, if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But you cannot be nobody down for that. You cannot, what you, what you really leave a person for that if, if they didn't do the oral part? I can see if the sex itself wasn't good. But what you really leave them for the oral part if if the if they didn't do it? If ladies, if you ran across a man that didn't eat the Rajay, <laughs> would you leave him? Would you be like, ah, oh, sorry, babe. You don't eat the JJ. You, you have got to go. <laughs> Would you leave her? Or, men, if she didn't suck the pay pay, would you be like, okay, babe, look. I can't be with you. The for JJ is good and everything, but I like I like oral. And you gon' you can't hit me up. I'm out to find me somebody who will. <laughs> That's gonna devastate somebody. 
And then when she do, he or she do start doing whatever it is you do, you're going to be the missed out on everything. It's going to be all y'all fault. <laughs> The moral of the story is, don't push nobody to do nothing that they don't want to do. If you don't want to know the answer to something, I would not ask it. If you're scared that you may lose that person because you're pushing a little bit too much and won't lay off, they're going to do it when they do it. If they do it. That's if they do it. And when they do it, how you know you're going to like it? That means you got a lot of work to put in when you're training somebody to do something that you want them to do. So that means you got to have patience. So if that hadn't kicked off just yet, it don't mean that it's not going to kick off. It just means that she ain't ready to show you what she got. Or she don't know how to do it. So she probably don't know how to tell you that. Same thing to go for a man. If he ain't did it by now, he probably want to do it. He just may not know how to do it. And may not be working with what you want to work with. Then you're going to have to train him. You're going to have to show him what to do for you. But it's, it's all about what you want. Be patient with people. Treat them like you want to be treated. Even in the bedroom. You want some powerful stuff happening for you, then give them some powerful things to make things happen for them and for you. Sometimes you get what you get when you give it, when you get it back, when you give it. Meaning that if you looking for all of this, what are you giving? What are you doing to get what you want? Are you getting are you giving oral pleasure? Are you eating up with JJ? Are you sucking the PP in order to get what you constantly pushing somebody else to do for you? Are you going to do it for them? If 